What's up everybody? Out at an old park. Same spot as the last video. We're gonna see what else we can find. I'm out here today with John from Finders Keepers. And uh, we'll get back to you on the first old target. All right, I dug a couple plugs of iron so far, but uh, just dug a signal. It was off to the side in the hole. John beeped it too. It was coming in like crap and got me a Merc. See if we can get it to come in. It's pretty bright out here. Nice, got an S mint mark on it. Let's see what year we got. It's a nice old one. 1919 with an S mint mark. Awesome. Take that all day. First old coin's gonna be silver. This might be a good day. Back at it. I just had a jumpy high tone and uh, it turned out to be a wheat scent. It's hard to see the date, but I think it's a 33 maybe. Looks like it got a D on it too. But the coins are coming out. John pulled a wheat too a little bit ago, so we'll see what happens. A jumpy low tone about seven or eight. Pulled out a piece of aluminum trash first, thought that was it, and then there was still a signal in the middle of the hole, so a few more inches down and there's a buffalo nickel. We'll take buffaloes all day. Alright, stay tuned guys. Alright guys, John just picked up a silver. We got the nice. It's going to be in 1907, it looks like, if I get Nice, it ain't in bad shape. Nice, got an O mint mark, too. Cool, that one's in nice shape. I like that dark toning that they get. Front's beautiful, and then the back is all nice and dark. Congrats, man. Thanks, man. All right, back to it. Alright guys, I just had a jumpy low high tone, bouncing, and uh, first I pulled out the beaver tail there, and then I pulled out an Indian. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, barely says, you can see the wreath and says one cent, but the front is completely trashed. I don't think this one's going to clean well at all, but we'll see what happens when I clean it. It's probably going to be in bad shape, but alright, stay tuned guys. got a low tone here it was not a little bit off from a nickel tone but I dug it anyway because it had good depth see the imprint there and it's gonna be another buffalo nickel I don't think we get the date and not much on the date we'll take buffaloes all right this spot's definitely producing well We'll see what else we get. Okay, I just pulled this out of the hole. Closed it up, I thought it was junk at first. But it actually comes apart. It's an old lipstick tube. A real teeny one. Got it with the shovel a little bit. But that's a cool find. It's definitely old. Alright, back at it. Alright, another deep low tone and uh... There's the chunk of black soil it came off of. Pulled a piece of iron out. And then another tore up V-nickel. Come on now. There you go, you can see the V in that right there. All these coins are in bad shape, but I'll take them either way. All right, not far from the last coin, I opened a hole in a Got a piece of an old bottle first and then basically right underneath it dug that up and there's a nice coin in there we'll see what it is it's gonna be a penny it's gonna be a wheat scent nice still an old coin they're still coming out of here man are these in bad shape all right on to the next one 
a jumpy signal. It was 109. I normally wouldn't dig that, but it was sounding really good and had about five inches of depth. You can see the green spot right there where it came off of. And down in the hole the other spot. Cleaned it up with the brush a little bit. It says Kaufman's. The big store. And then it has a number. That's pretty cool. Neat little relic for the day. Alright. We'll see what comes out of this spot next. It's producing some old stuff. Alright guys, I just popped out a signal here. It was real iffy and I think it's going to be an SLQ. Oh, it's got some nice details on it. If I can get the spray bottle to work. Watch your eyes, John. There's lemon juice in there. What does that bring it up here? It was uh, bouncing a 144, 243 or something like that. It's a 1917. Nice date on it. Oh no, I can't see it. <laughs> All right, here we go. I got some shade to get it to focus. 1917. That's beautiful. Let me clean up the back. That might be a type or a type one if it don't have stars under it. It's type two. If it, yep, it's a type two. I see the first star. This thing is in incredible condition. Look at the shape of that thing. Oh my god, it's beautiful. You just don't pull them out like that, man. No. Nah. This camera just won't let me see. This sun is so bright out here, guys. Sorry. That is a beautiful That's coin. A beautiful example. There, awesome. All right, back to it, guys. Hey everybody, we're over at the truck and uh, there's John's finds. I'm gonna do a little wrap up. There's a little brooch he got. Man, this sun ain't helping. You got a couple of Indians and a few wheats there, and then I'd say his find for the day is this 1907 Barber Dime with the O mint mark. Alright, then over here I got my finds. And up with the 17 Type 2 SLQ, 1919S mark. Nice little Kaufman's tag. Ended up getting on two V nickels, two buffaloes. I got three Wheaties and a toasted Indian. But that's about it. Is there anything you didn't get today, Joe? Uh, almost. I got a variety <laughs> at least. I'll take whatever gets under my coil, Joe. <laughs> Back at it.